Mamma mia! Greatest day of my life. Just got a haircut. Not like you guys can notice anyways. But anyways, now it's time to edit my video. And then later on tonight, we have a game. Guys, Jackie is so nice to me. I'm super busy editing my video, so I haven't had time to eat today yet. And what's up? I'm going to go get you something. Well, two things. Do you want turkey, breast? I think Ooh, I want, I want, I want turkey, breast. Deluxe. No, I want breast. Well, those come with. Oh, those come on the side? Okay. Uh, I want you to surprise me. Board and brew and sushi. What is board and brew? Board and brew, it's like sandwich. Are you trying to kill me sandwiches and sushi? First of all, you want it. I know. I want that. Guys, I woke up, went straight to the gym, played a couple hours of basketball, came straight home, editing my video, and I haven't had time to eat. So my girlfriend, Jackie, coming up clutch with the food. And thank Kyrie you, babe. Kyrie with the three. Yeah, Kyrie with the three, game seven, coming in clutch. Okay, wait. Um, I so like your phone case. Let me see it one more time. Yeah, I need a new one. Who no, is you that? You are not getting a new one. No, this is staying on your... The only no. new one you're going to get is if you update the picture to me with my beard. Because that one is just the no, goatee. He, he gets mad when I take it off. No, 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 no. no. Like, can, let me just explain to them. But listen, guys. It's so thick. I like, know. <laughs> it's so thick. So every time that I tell him to charge my phone, it doesn't charge. So I have to take the whole thing off, charge it, then put it back Well, on. yeah. I made it thick purposely because it has a picture of me and, like, thick, like, you know. you're thicker than the Snicker. Yeah. Okay, babe. Okay guys, my game starts in less than an hour, but the Suns game is on. So I'm not leaving to my game until the Suns game finishes. Hopefully the Suns win. I really don't want to go play my game after watching the Suns lose. I would literally be depressed. It's a close game. What do you know? Of course. Every single Suns game is close. But yeah, the Suns game is almost over. And then I'm going to go play my basketball game. Babe, do I ever get a break from basketball? It is basketball. Go Booker for three. Oh my god, that's four in a row. Four threes in a row for Devin fucking Booker. But yeah, guys, I swear. Wake up, play basketball. Come back home, watch basketball, the Suns game, and then go to my game and play basketball at night. My brain and life is literally filled with basketball. Imagine how mad I would be, like how angry I would be playing if I play after watching the Suns lose. Oh, then you wouldn't have to think I cheated That way I wouldn't have to make myself mad by telling myself Jackie cheated on me. I could already be mad. I don't know if I've ever played basketball after a son's loss. Stop! Guys, I'm getting the pre-game treatment every commercial break of the Suns game. It's a commercial right now. So I get the pre-game massage. My legs are dead. Let me just say, babe, how much basketball have I played this past week? A lot. Guys, I've played so much basketball this past week. I played Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. I don't even know, remember what I played. So I'm getting the pre-game treatment for the sore legs. And I can't wait to play this game. Now, hopefully, I can play it after the Suns win. Hopefully, there's four minutes left in the game. But I need to start getting ready. The chicken, so the chicken leg stretch. I have such chicken legs. I swear, I need to start working out my legs. Yeah, you do with me. I work my legs out. You work your butt, I'll work my legs. No, I work. Okay, okay, back on, back on. Stretch later. Why is my foot bigger than your damn head? <laughs> I swear. No, my foot is bigger than your head. Sweaty. My foot is so hairy. Both my feet are hairy, actually. I know, I need to cut them so I can look them better. Huh? Nothing. Mmm. Okay. Jose. Mmm. Okay. Guys, get yourself not only someone who's your girlfriend, but also personal trainer. I wish. Oh, I, I like I like this stretch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Are you ready for game time? Yes. Say your famous line. Go, oh, baby! Wait, I'm about to say it like, um... Yeah, say it a million times just to be petty. Guys, look out... And go, baby! 
Wait. You don't understand how petty my girlfriend is. Just because all the comments were saying, bro, she's so annoying saying go, baby. Say it a million times today. Say go, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Wait. Say go, baby for Devin Booker. Say it, say it. Oh, what? That's not even him. For the game, everyone's already waiting for me. It's getting late, but the Suns game still isn't over, so I can't miss the Suns game. Oh my god, why does this have to happen before my basketball game? I need to go. <sighs> Breathe, PJ. Is he gonna make it, yes or no? Yes? Okay, if he misses it, it's your fault. You clutch son of a bitch. You clutch, PJ. Hold on, I need to tweet. PJ Tucker Clutch Babe, I need to change Why not? Wait. Okay, one more stop, sons One more stop Out, babe I, saw, I can't even feel pain right now, I'm too nervous, I don't care One more stop Six seconds left This is for the Suns winning three in a row Yeah, let Rubio take that shot, it's fine No, 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 not Wiggins PJ, Sebo, put your hands up No, no Shut the fuck up. Yeah, let Rubio take that shot. It's fine. No, 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 not Wiggins. T PJ, Sebo, put your hands up. No, no. Shut the fuck up. The fuck? Fuck basketball. Fuck this fucking sport. Of fuck. Are you fucking kidding? The fuck? Fuck basketball. Fuck this fucking sport of. Are you fucking kidding? What the fuck? Oh my phone. Why does this shit? Oh my god. I'm done. Why? Oh my god. And I'm late to my basketball game because I just can't get over this. No, nah, but really, like, I play basketball better when I'm mad. I don't know about this mad, though. Like, usually I'm mad, but still, like, contained. But, like, after that game, after that game winner, I'm mad to the point where, like, I'm shaking. I don't even know if I could dribble a basketball. But on the bright side, usually to get myself mad, before every game to get myself mad, I have Jackie lie to me and tell me that she cheated on me. Stop it. So, on the bright side, at least today, she doesn't have to lie to me and say that. I'm just, I'm already mad. So I'm mad to the point, like, I don't even know if I could play. Like, I don't know if I could even dribble a basketball or shoot a basketball. Fuck bat. I hate basketball. It's my most hated sport. Fuck the NBA. I hate this, I swear. Okay guys, I've never been late to one of my basketball games before in my life, but this is gonna be a mission. The game starts in 14 minutes. We still have to go. We just left. We have to go, find parking, obviously walk to the basketball court, put my shoes on. I don't have my shoes on. So I've never been late to one before, but this one is really gonna test me. So today we're actually playing the team. Sorry, buddy. So today we're actually playing the team who's number one in the standings. They're the only undefeated team left. They're 2-0. They're the only undefeated team left. I have no idea if they're good or not. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen them play yet. I have no idea how good or how bad they are. But all I know is that they're undefeated. They're 2-0. Our team is 1-1. One, one. one win and one loss. So it's time to go out there and get this victory. 
we'll see. The other team is obviously 2-0 for a reason, so they must be good. Hopefully we can come out with a victory to make up for that Suns loss. Guys, shout out to my barber, Paul, who told me he's coming. He's coming to my game. Aww. And he's, he's bringing his kids with him. So they're going to say what's up to the vlog when they show up. Paul actually had a basketball game right before mine. So I'm, I need to catch up with him and see if they won or lost. Guys, I was in such a rush. I forgot water at the house. And so I'm not going to have water for the whole game. Because the water fountains are way too far from the court that we play on. So I know, first of all, how professional is that? That they don't even put water fountains where it is. But usually I bring my own water bottles. And I guess today i'm gonna go no water and i don't sub out of the game like i play the whole 40 minutes i never sub substitute out of the game so i'm probably gonna pass out on the court but it's all good as long as we win okay guys we made it with two minutes left i didn't even park in a parking spot look this isn't even parking it's literally whatever we need to go um i don't even know if i'm gonna have time to put my shoes on i have two minutes left Where are your shoes? <gasps> i'll play in sandals you think they'll let me play in sandals go baby Hurry up, baby. I swear I'm not gonna have time to put my shoes on. Will they let me play in sandals? No. <laughs> I'll play in sandals, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, this isn't even a parking spot. Imagine here, my car gets towed. Thanks. I'll okay, check, let's go, babe. I'll check during half time. Oh, yeah. Wow, literally this is a spot right here. Yeah. No, it looks I like don't... a spot. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> Look who came to visit. Yes. Say hi. hi. Are you the cheerleaders today yeah, instead of me? Go Brandon, go Brian. <laughs> Hope you guys <laughs> Yes. Wow, it is freezing in here. in here how do they play chills right now just thinking about it nobody could play like nobody could dribble the ball nobody could even shoot because their fingers were literally icicles one of the dudes even told me felt like he was getting hypothermia and he was playing in sweats and a long sleeve how they mess with the temperature before the game on accident if you don't believe me that everybody sucked because of how cold it was in there just watch this next possession just watch 
Everybody was playing so sloppy. Every, all of a sudden, nobody could play because of how cold it was. And obviously, we got used to it later in the game. We got warm. But for the beginning, it was so sloppy. Everybody sucked in the beginning, including myself. Nobody could play because of how cold it was. Just watch how sloppy this possession was. <laughs> breath when I speak and that is crazy.
feeling the support. I can hear you now. Oh, yeah. 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 Seventeen to seventeen with five thirty-five. Tie game. seconds left. They just gave me twin snakes for us. So, a blocking foul is when you're not standing straight up or when you move your body into the player who's trying to score. That dude went like this. Literally rammed his shoulder. It, whatever. But there was no foul. Okay. I guess he was 
straight after all, he didn't move his body at all. Over. Yeah. Good move. Go, go, go. Was there a fight that I missed? No, no scuffle. <laughs> anybody cares what I was telling the ref at that moment was the dude who got fouled the whole game every time he touched the ball he would just yell and one and one so I went up to the ref and I was like yo ref 
So if someone says and one, like, that's automatically a foul because that's what he's been doing all game. And the ref was just like, he got baited in by the guy screaming and one. And I was like, but he's doing that all game. You guys can't get baited by that. I'm telling you, that dude, no matter what, every time he touched the ball, he would just scream and one just to try to get the refs to call it. And thankfully, these refs were actually really good. They didn't call it half the time that he did it. Anyways, 34 to 33. They're beating us by one point. So this is a super close game so far. <laughs> Seven minutes left.
brick wall. Number two is what? seconds left.
Wow, how excited. <laughs> so excited. Okay, guys, I just want to give a quick little shout out. Come here, Jaden. Oh, you're on the phone? Oh, okay. Well, these three fans, they love my videos. They came out to support. What's your guys' name? Adam. Adam. Amin. Amin and Jaden, obviously. They said they're going to come out and support us every game for the rest of the yeah. season. So thank, thank you guys so much. Devin Bookers, exactly. Guys. Wait, I don't think I mentioned that was our team name. Our team name is the Devin Booker. So, what do you guys think of the win? Your analysis? I guess the best team. That was the yeah, against the best team. Thoughts? Yeah. There are a few things that I would like to see happen with the rest. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming. We'll see you next week, too. Saving the game. What up? He literally had the I, game winner. I missed the game winner and I look and Chris with the putback to save the game. <laughs> Brandon, this time don't put all my misses in there. I hey, I, <laughs> if you miss, you miss. <laughs> hey, his three point shooting, we got prime Ray Allen. <laughs> and then photographer right here. <laughs> Gilbert, good D. Rebounder. All, all defensive. Tony Allen right here. <laughs> Right here for the haircut. Oh yeah? Good shit guys. You win one. Good good job guys. Guys, good job. <laughs> How do you snore? <laughs> guys, I always like um She fake. fake snores. Yeah, I fake snore whenever Brandon makes me mad and I just say, okay, I'm going to sleep and go. <laughs> She snores loud, that's disgusting, so she fake snores to piss me off. But anyways, guys, we're going to sleep happy and because my team won. Yeah, the Suns lost, but I'm going to just try to forget about that. I don't know how I'm going to forget about that when I'm literally re-watching the game again from first quarter to fourth quarter. I'm re-watching the whole entire game, but we're going to try to forget about the Suns loss. My team had a good game. We won. And honestly, babe, I'm gonna need a massage. My, babe, no, no, I took a no, lot of hits no. today, babe. I got, I look, I have a bruised hip. I'll show it to you, babe, off camera. I have like a really big bruise on my hip because I took a fall, and then I kind of fell on my wrist, so my wrist hurts too. So today was kind of a, I don't know, a bruised up game. I took a lot of hits, a lot of falls, but we won, so it doesn't matter. But let me just tell you, my body is. My body took a beating. My body's pretty sore. Can I just tell you guys, I literally massage him at least five times a day. Like, five I'm times spoiled. a day. I'm spoiled. I was putting you on blast every time I Because massage. I give you more than a massage. I know this video came out a little later than it was supposed to, but, like, this bloody nose, this is nothing. This is, like, just dripping. I'm telling you, the past couple of days, I've had a very, very bad bloody nose, headaches, stomach aches, and just, like, Every time I would open my laptop to try to edit, I felt like fainting. I felt like I was going to pass out. So I didn't upload yesterday. My mom my mom got mad at me. She's like, get off the computer. Stop editing. You're going to die. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, I, ju I just felt like shit. I don't know what it was. It's weird. It wasn't like a cold or a flu. I've never felt like this where I just felt really dizzy and I felt like I was going to faint. I asked you guys on Twitter and a lot of you guys said it's because I don't sleep a lot and I don't eat a lot. But I go play a lot of basketball. So I'm constantly running, running, exercising on no sleep and no food. I don't know, but whatever. I feel better now, so I got this video up for you guys. I missed one day, so I hope you guys forgive me for that. I hope that's fine. And hopefully this bloody nose goes away because, I don't know, it's just weird. There's a lot more blood down here, but I don't want to show you guys because it's disgusting. I don't know how it ended up on my t-shirt. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to edit the video and it just drips down and I'm like, oh shit. Okay, keep editing. But yeah, yesterday I pulled up to the gym, got out of my car, and right when I got out of my car, it literally started like pouring blood and i'm like what the hell and then i tried to play basketball but i couldn't because the blood just wouldn't stop so then i came home got in the shower and i came out and i just had like a massive migraine headache then my stomach started hurting and i sat down to edit my video and i just felt like i was gonna like fall backwards and pass out so i was like okay hold on let me take a one day break but i'm back i hope you guys enjoyed this video this really really long video and shout out to my team once again i can't wait for our next game yo guys before i close this video out i know sorry i have blood on my t-shirt a little bit i had like a bloody nose earlier when i was playing basketball but that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about i want to give a huge shout out to my team because they played exceptionally well we beat the team that was number one in that league so we beat the best team that was in that league hats off to them i think i only scored like 
eight or ten points. I was trying to pass more. My hands were freezing. I don't know what the league director said, how they accidentally messed with the temperature before the game. So I couldn't even shoot. And as you could tell, that game was really sloppy. It was a really close game. That was the closest game we've had all season. But it doesn't matter. We won. And honestly... I always complain about the refs, so you gotta give credit where credit is due. Usually the refs in that league are bad, and although these refs had some questionable calls, hats off to them. They were the best refs we've had all season in a game. Nobody's perfect, so if a ref misses a few calls, that's fine. It's when the refs miss like a hundred calls when I complain. But these refs, they were really good. Yeah, they missed a few calls, but who cares? They're human. They're not robots. They can't call everything. But honestly, usually I'm used to scoring about like 20 points in a game, but this game I only scored like 8 or 10, but I had a lot of passes. I had a lot of assists. I honestly like that kind of more. I kind of like passing the ball a lot more, but anyways, it doesn't matter because people are always commenting, bro, how many points did he score? How many points did he score? I've always said it does not matter how many points I score as long as the team wins as long as our team wins and here's proof if we win and I score 30 points or if we win and I score zero I still have the same exact smile that I would have either way so it's not about the points that's when people get it twisted it's not about how many points you score it's about how many games your team wins but honestly I couldn't even focus that that Andrew Wiggins buzzer beater was literally in my head the whole game I couldn't even play I've never played a basketball game being that mad. I have never ever set foot on a basketball court while being that upset after the Suns losing a game. Anyways, we got the win. We have two wins and one loss and we are now number one in that league. We're now the number one team in that league. So hats off to my teammates. I didn't do shit that game. It was all them. They won us that game. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to Paul and his kids, PJ, Sydney, and his wife for coming through and watching the game. I appreciate it. I appreciate the haircut. And thank you guys so much for watching. So I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. I apologize for missing a day. I'm telling you, I tried to upload, but I just, I couldn't. I felt like shit. So I hope you guys didn't mind that too much. I played terrible. I'm telling you, this is my third season in a league, my third time playing. I don't think I've ever played a game that bad. I think that proves if the Suns lose, it was right before we play. I guess I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I just kept thinking about the Suns. And of course it had to be in front of my barber. I can't, That was the worst game I've ever played. I'm just glad we won. Because if we lost after I played that bad, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I would put the whole blame on myself. But we won thanks to my teammates. I played like shit. But we won, so that's all that matters.